2017, paper 43, question number 10. Now, as I said, part A and B are related. So, part B tells us that an integer written as a product of its prime factors is a squared times 7 to the power of b plus 2. So, x, the integer, is equal to a squared times 7 to the power of b plus 2. And the integer y is equal to a cubed times 7 squared. And they tell us that the highest common factor of x and y is 1, 2, 2, 5. So let's write out the numbers, the, the, com the factors which are the same on top of each other. So you have f, a cubed and 7, a and 7, a cubed times 7 to the power of b plus 2. And for y, you're going to have a, sorry, for x, you're going to have a squared, a squared times 7 to the power of b plus 2, and for y, you're going to have a cubed times 7 squared. Okay, so now, let's think of the LCM and the HCF. Now, the lowest common multiple is when you find the highest form of each of these. So, it's a squared and a cubed. It's going to be a cubed. And for the 7s, it's going to be, of course, 7 to the power of b plus 2. Okay, because this is... This b can't be negative because you're going to have 7 times 7 times 3. You're going to have a certain number of 7s that have been, you know, when, you, uh, when it's been written as a product of these prime factors, the, the number of 7s will be written down that are multiplied by each other. So it's not going to be a negative number, is it? It's going to be a positive number. So it's going to be a cubed times 7 to the power b of b plus 2. So 7 to the power b plus 2. b plus 2 is a bigger power than the 2. Okay, so that will be the LCM. And we're told that the LCM is for 42,000. 875. That's the LCM. Okay. And the HCF, okay, the HCF is um, given by the lowest form of each of them. So it's going to be for the A's, it's going to be A squared. And for the B, for the 7's, it's going to be 7 to the power of 2. Okay. So this is, those are the numbers and those are the LCM and the HCF. Okay. And that, they told us, is equal to 1,225. Now, from these equations, we can now solve this problem, okay? We can say from these two that you know, for this, what we found from the HCF, there's only one thing that we don't know, which is A. So we have A squared times 7 squared, which is about 49 times A squared. 7 squared is 49. And that's equal to 1,225. And A squared, therefore, is 1,225 divided by 49. Okay, we can resort to the good old calculator to work that out. So you have basically 1,225 divided by 49, which gives you 25. So we know that a squared is equal to 25. Okay, so we have a squared is equal to 25. Therefore, a must be 5. Okay, the square root of 25 must be a positive number. So a is equal to 5, okay? So with that, we can work out what the y is, but let's just find what b is first. Now, we know from the second or the other equation we've got with the LCM, for a cubed times 7 to the power of b plus 2 is equal to 42,875. Now, we've already found what a is. It's 5. So 5 cubed is 125 times 7 to the power of b plus 2 equals 42,000. 875. Now, with this, we can now try to solve this. We can divide both sides of this equation by 125. We have 7 to the power of b plus 2 is equal to 42,875 divided by 125. So, 7 to the power of b plus 2 will therefore give, if we divide 42,875, by 125, so you have 42,000, here we go, 42,875 divided by 25, 125, sorry, 125, and that gives us 343. So 7 to the power of b plus 2, 7 to the power of b plus 2 is equal to 343. Now, how do we solve such equations? Okay, now, to solve an equation like this, called an exponential equation, you have 7 to the power of b plus 2 equals 343. 
To solve this equation, we have to make sure that the bases are the same. That's how we do this in IGCSE work. Now, when it came to uh, when it comes to A level, there's a different way of doing it. But all we need to know is when you get a situation like this, there will definitely be a way to express them as the same base. So of course we can assume that the base is going to be seven. So there must be a way of expressing 343 as seven to the power of something. Well, just in case you don't know your cube numbers or your you know your um, core of your numbers to the power of four or five very well, you can just use a calculator. So we know seven squared is 49, so of course not seven squared. Let's try seven cubed. Seven to the power of three gives you, there we have it, 343. Okay, so I can write seven, seven to the power of, sorry, I can write 343 as seven to the power of three. And here I have seven to the power of B plus two. Now once the bases are the same and they're equal to each other, that means the, the powers must be the same for B plus two must equal three. So B equals minus one. So we now found what A and B both are. A is five and B is equal to plus one. So B is equal to plus one. Okay, so of course it can't be negative. That's three minus two, which is one. Okay, so B is equal to one. Now, that is not our answer. The question says, find the value of X and the value of Y. It doesn't say find the value of A and B. So of course we need to know what A and B are. So A is five and B is one. And they told us, okay, that X can be expressed in this form. Okay, they told us X can be expressed, I can put it here. This is X and this is Y. So we can just replace the A with five and the B with one. So it's five squared times seven cubed. For X, you've got five cubed times seven squared for Y. Okay, so we can just work out what those are. That's going to be, where are we? Yeah, that's going to be 25 times 343. So use that 343 we've got already, times 25. That gives us 8575 five is going to be our x. 8575 five is going to be our x. And for y, we're going to have 5 cubed times 7 squared, okay, which is 125 times uh, 49. So 1, 2, 5 times 49, 6,125. Okay, that's five cubed times seven squared. Six thousand, six thousand one hundred and twenty-five. Those are the two numbers which have those as their LCM and their HCM. Okay, um, I hope that was clear for you all. And I'll sign off there. Thank you.